Hey guys, Capitalist here, back with some more Super Paper Mario. I did not sync this before I started talking. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Anyway, um, today, I don't know, we're gonna find the next heart pillar. So, uh, yeah, time to search. No way, I, I should be in 3D right now. Okay. So, yeah, I kind of, you know, figured out how I'm gonna be doing, like, all the episodes for my different things now. Um, <clears throat> so, oh, wait, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep, like, the Super Paper Mario parts at, like, 10 minutes. I should not be over here. Okay. But, yeah, I'll keep Super Paper Mario parts at 10 minutes unless it's, like, this, where I'm, you know, trying to find the heart pillars in between chapters. You know, I want to get through this fast, you guys want to get through this fast, because nothing much really happens in these little intermissions, so... Yeah, these, these will stay, like, you know, however long it takes. Who knows, this might be, um, a five-minute video, it might be a 20-minute video. Am I supposed to... right here, okay. I think I'm supposed to be going this way. I am. If not, this was just a total waste of time. But yeah, uh, Super Paper Mario Parts, 10 minutes, unless it's an intermission. And, um, where the hell am I supposed to go? It's already there. And, uh, the Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Buster Parts, I'll keep those around 15 minutes, because I don't update those as fast as, uh, Paper Mario. Okay, I, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Yeah. Yeah, gameplay-wise, since I don't have much to talk about, I guess I could just say what's been going on with my life. Well, let's read this. I already read that sign. So yeah, um... Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to use Boomer here. Okay. Um... So yeah, as far as school's going, it's fine. Uh, class I'm taking history, physics, material science. Yeah. Physics is kicking my ass very hard right now. Uh, as for material science, I, know, I just need to actually start studying and, like, reading the book. Did I already encounter these enemies? Whatever. And, what is this? I feel that it's holding something. It's a red color stone. Apart from the color, it seems like an, just another stone. It looks suspicious. But yeah, and history. Uh, fuck you. History is going, like, really well. But, I don't know, it's just physics that I'm worried about. That's the only class that... I mean, we took a test today, and the study guide the professor gave us said the exam will test your knowledge of the following six concepts. And, yeah, it was six concepts, but, um... The exam only tested us on two of them. Alright, six concepts, six chapters. The exam has four questions, and it only goes over two of the concepts. I can't be the only one who's pissed about that who took the test, but whatever. And it just so happened the two concepts we were being tested on were the only ones I had no idea what to... Like, I just didn't know anything about. Okay. But yeah, now we're doing this. Making platforms appear. Slippery platforming. Okay. This is kind of awkward. Alright, we did it. Do I do this? Oh wait, no, I'm supposed to be in 3D, that's right. Oh god! Okay. Alright. Okay. All is well. Hit the switch. Yay! Okay. Where is this actually? Save block. I don't want to go in that just yet. Uh, sign. Danger. Pit of a hundred trials. Dan wait. Ugh. Flip side. Pit of a hundred trials. Danger. Do not enter. Flip side city hall. But yeah, uh, pit of a hundred trials. I don't think Paper Mario 1 had something like this. But um, Paper Mario 2, there was a little challenge in there called the Pit of a Hundred Trials where you know, it was just a hundred floors. You're fighting enemies and increasing difficulty and at the end was a boss. Yeah, I never beat the Pit of 100 Trials on Paper Mario 2. Oh, I don't know. 
Like, the last time I was playing Paper Mario 2, I was preparing for that, like, just grind, level grinding and, um, you know, getting some items ready, but then I just stopped playing. Yeah, we're in basement one of flip side. Hold on, Sky, you say? I don't care about that, you blabbering dolt. Oh, uh, where was that? Wait, where has that cursed wordsmith gone? I have no clue. So yeah, this is the basement of Flipside. Um, I don't know what stuff is here. This is a cafe, I'm guessing. I'm gonna take a load off. This is the beverage, be beverage trium. Okay, download the underwear. Huh. In honor of this joint, the name's Garson. So yeah, welcome to all that. Oh, I see what they did there, Garson. French, well, the French word for waiter is garçon. Okay. Listen, in my line of work, I hear gossip. Even gossip I don't care about. But who knows? Somebody might care about this stuff. Maybe even you. But yeah, if you ever want to talk, you know where to find me. Right here. For just a few coins, I'll tell you some interesting stories. No joke. Rip-off artist. Ah, his spot. Milk. Straight up. The only way to drink milk. That's right. Unless you've, you know, made some Cocoa Krispies and, you know, the milk turns chocolatey. That's always good, too. <laughs> I knew something was right there. You got the internet card. Um, that, that's a character I think is coming up next. Let me see. I don't, I don't think we've encountered internet yet. Or was that the host of the Merle thing? Okay, scrolling, scrolling. All right, internet. Yep, he was the host. The internet knows all. Haha. <laughs> and also moonlights as a game show host. Okay. Okay. Anything down here? Huh. Is there? Um, who the hell are you? Greetings, name's Flim. Freelance sales freak. Fully licensed and bonded. So anything. Sell to anyone, sell big, sell often, sell now. My slogan, trademark. I don't want that slogan anyway. I sell stuff that's so hard to find, not even I can find it. Yeah, you heard me right. So, look, then buy. What you got, huh? Thunder Rage. These are actually pretty good to have. Uh, catch card, the card that captures a full soul. It almost always works. Oh, that's not guaranteed. Cake mix, honey jar, honey jar, horsetail. Spiny Trump. No. I feel like I should be buying these cards, but I don't want to waste my coins just yet. So you want nothing? Call me flustered. Well, inventory changes like that. Yeah, that quick, so come back soon. Oh, okay. Hey, what is this? Um, it's a tiny shop. There's no way we're getting inside it like this. I think I need another pixel for that. Yeah, I know I'm not really knowing, like, what much of this stuff is, but like I said, it's been forever since I last played this. Plus, I don't even ever remember going down there, because I was under the impression that water killed you when I first played this, so, yeah. I mean, water kills you in every other Paper Mario game, so why wouldn't it here? And... Did I go around in a circle? I went around in a... Oh my god, okay. Quality gameplay right here. Quality gameplay. Alright. No, I can't say that. That was my own stupid fault. Anything over it? No. I'm seriously lost then, because... I don't know. I don't know. Hard pillar, hard pillar, where are... Huh. And who might you... Wait. Who might you be? Ah, I'm surprised you are finding me. I am called Welderberg. I am the Iron Man of the Forging of Pipes. What? Hey, ever thought I ah, it is taking so long to get around town. Yeah, me too, and so is my life's work to make the pipes for transportation. I expect to hear, yeah, I'm thinking I can make the pipe to flip sides flip side tower's base. What do you think of this? You are covering cost of materials and labor, yeah. I can make such a pipe. You are looking not very rich. How is a hundred coins? Are we having the deal? Yeah, sure. This is the good thing, yeah, I'm getting started. You are staying out of the way. 
I don't know why, but part of me is remembering him charging me differently before. Well, I guess I didn't have the proper number of coins or whatever. It's probably open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. You're using it whenever, yeah? Life is short, so it's smart to take the direct way, yeah? You spend it with the wisdom while I'm going. Okay. Goodbye, Waterbird. And nothing. So yeah, this takes me back to the tower. Yep, there's the item shop. So. Yeah, there's a quick way to get to the Pit of a Hundred Trials if the need arises. Now to just struggle to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. Uh, 3D? Echoes, because that's just the water pipes, whatever. Anything over here then? You have to say any no, you don't have anything to say about that. Me? Oh my god. Where am I supposed to go? Um, okay, I am seriously lost. Oh, that's just a shadow. Um, hmm. Okay, um. I'm trying to think. I didn't see anywhere I could slip into with Slim. Something over here. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, swim! Okay. What button do I press? Oh, alright. Yay, heart pillar! It was right there all along. Oh, well, at least we got a shortcut to two different places and uh, some more stuff. Yeah. I don't know what I was trying to say. Anyway, cutscene! Cinematic, whatever. I don't know. And what color is this door? Yellow! Oh wait, are they going with the rainbow colored things? Like red and orange and yellow? Yeah, I think they're following the uh, colors of the rainbow. Alright. So... Uh, I think it would just be quicker to get through the gap. I think it would be quicker to uh, take the pipe that I had Waterbird make me, rather than just adventuring all the way back across the Nether. This isn't the Nether. Haha! -ha, stylish. Okay. Uh, platforming. Ha! I did that without stopping. God. So, um, I don't know, this recording seems like it's going, uh, pretty well. No, I guess I can show off some of the, uh, next area. Wait, wait, wait. Up here. Yeah, give you all a little taste of what's to come. You know, don't go too indefinite. How long have I been recording? Oh, only almost 14 minutes, huh? Yeah, I can show it off. Here's Merlon's place. If this next world is the one I'm, I think it is, then it's going to be pretty fun. So hurry up. And here we go. Yeah, I'll just show off a little of it. And then I'll call it, uh, call it apart. Mario and his new friends opened the door, unsure of what they would find. All the while, Merlee's words about finding the other two heroes rang in their minds. Were these other heroes somewhere in this new world? If not, where? Meanwhile, the creeping void grew larger in the skies, but flip side. The hopes of all worlds rested on the heroes finding the next pure heart. Chapter 3 1 When Geeks Attack. Yes, this is that world I was thinking of. It's about to go down. Ah, nice music. And we gotta wait for the world to draw. Yep. 
I won't say it's an 8-bit world because it's not, but it's... I don't know, that, that's the... Yeah, this is called the Bitlands. Um, and you sort of playing off the whole, like, 8-bit thing where everything is made out of bits and... Whatever. So this is where that door leads. I suppose the next pure heart must be nearby. That's odd. I can feel it nearby, but where could it be? Well, I'm... Yeah, that happened. Near here, 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 here. I like that music. Hi, Technico. I caught a super rare pixelated butterfly. My friends at digibutter.ner are going to freak when they get word of this fine. Does that even exist? I wonder if somebody just, like, created that online or some kind of, you know, just trying to be funny. I must bring it home. I can't miss this week's episode of the Grotus Chronicles. Grotus, the final boss from... Oh, no, he wasn't the final boss from Paper Mario He was the main villain. No way am I going to entrust my digital record of me out of tape an episode so epic. This is so high technical. So yeah, we just lost Tippy. We gotta rescue her. In silence. Whoa ho ho, a kidnapping. Oh, the despair, the awful spectacle of it all. The shocking scene occurred right before my very own tender eyes. Tender eyes. Well, I guess that's a wrap for that pixel now that that freak Francis has got her. I feel there's a joke in his name being Francis, but I'm not getting it. So yeah, we gotta talk to that bush. And it was talking to us. Well, ho! Yeah, it's a pixel. Who's this guy? A friend of the butterfly girl that got nabbed? Well, that's a pity. That geek that grabbed her? Francis, basically the nerd to end all nerds. Plus, he's got this thing for butterflies, and well, all things nerdy, too. If he gets his sweaty mitts on something he likes, there's no getting back. Collects stuff and keeps in his big fancy fortress. It's like geek paradise. Well, now, you want to know where Fort Francis is? Well, if you go all the way down ahead for miles and miles, you'll find it. You're not thinking of infiltrating the nerd lair and rescuing her, are you? Look, nobody likes having their butterfly kidnapped by a geek, but it's dangerous. Now, he should know it's a pixel. I mean, he's a pixel himself. Still set on it, eh? What a tender moment. I think I got something in my eye here. It don't look like it. Listen, let me give you some travel tips. You listening? Good. And yeah, I think you do actually have to uh, remember these. All I got for you is three critical tips. So remember all of them. Here's your first tip. A bunch of no-class jerks are holed up in this castle up ahead. It ain't gonna be easy getting past them, but here's the juice. It's an old castle. You do your thing with that red X mark, and maybe something will happen for you. Red X mark. Got that. Now for my second tip. If you somehow pass those clowns in the castle, you'll see an ocean. Can't miss it. A scary sea monster lives there. The beast is huge and cranky. But if you toast its red flipper thing, something good is bound to happen. Red flipper thing. Got it. Here's the last tip. Once you swim your way through that ocean, you'll see a humongous tree. There's a huge gorge on the other side. There's no jumping across it. Look for the red wind and do something with it. Then you can get across. Red wind. Okay. Got all that? Good. You be careful now. If by some crazy chance you do save her, come back and tell me how you did it. Yeah, I think after you beat this world and you come back and talk to him, he'll join you. So, yeah. So, yeah, just gotta remember, everything red. And... Okay, I, I need to hurry up and get to the next save block. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. Is this actually set up just like, uh... The worlds from... Wait, I want to say Super Mario Brothers 3. Whatever. I don't know. Kind of puts me in the mind of it. And... Yeah... You bring me to... Crap! Uh, nope. Right, there we go. Now. Okay, a ladder. Oh, okay, I guess that's the way to the next area. Well, we'll explore that and try to find Tippy and... What's over here? Okay, there's some red stuff over there. Whatever. We'll explore all this and more next time. So, uh, yeah. Well, actually, next time will be Monday. But I've already recorded it and then you all don't want to hear that. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you all later. Bye.